with question number 16. So in this it is given what is the net flux of the uniform electric field of question 1.15 through a cube of side 20 cm oriented so that it faces or parallel to the coordinate plane. So if you will see question number 15 in that we are given with electric field as 3 into 10 raised to power 3 Newton over Coulomb. So this is what we are given with in question 15. Now we need to find the net flux through this figure. In this we are given with Q that is of 20 cm. So now the electric field we know by is given and the direction of it is I cap. Therefore it must be in X axis. It must be towards X axis. So now del S1 of phase GH DF is towards x axis positive x axis and del s2 is toward negative x axis so let's see how to proceed now area of one phase area of each phase here will be 20 into 20 that is 400 centimeter square now we need to convert centimeter square into meter square so it will be 4 into 10 raised to power minus 2 meter square. So this is the area of each face out of the six faces of the cube. Now now we need to find the net electric flux. So it will be phi equals E vector dot dot del S1 plus E vector dot s2 so this is what we need to find now we know that each flux is 4 into 10 raised to power minus 2 the area is same for all now e is same for all now the difference is now when we expand this term it will be e dot ds now comes the rule of cos here now the direction of del s1 and del e is same so therefore the the angle between del S1 and del E will be 0. So it will be cos 0 degree. Now for the second one it is again E dot del S. Now the, now the angle between E and del S2 is E is in this, this direction and S2 is in this direction. So the angle is 180. So cos 180 degree. Now E is given, del S is given, cos 0 we know is 1. So E is 3 into 10 raised to power 3. Del S is 4 into 10 raised to power minus 2. Now cos 0, cos 0 is 1. And we need to put the second value now. That is 3 into 10 raised to power minus 3. Sorry, plus 3. Then we have 4 into 10 raised to power minus minus 2 and cos 180 degrees minus 1. So therefore we have one positive term and negative term. So it will be 0. So therefore you can say that that the net flux is 0. It is established here that if some electric flux enters the cube the same amount of flux leaves through the other phase. So therefore the net flux is 0 in this case. So answer to this is 0. Thank you for watching question number 16.